So we actually have confirmation that Samsung is going to start increasing their DRAM supplies. They're going to start bolstering their amount of factories they have working on this. And now, before you're wondering, what in the world could this mean for us? Graphics card prices. They're going to go down. And I mean, it's not like we're looking at something like, oh, we're only going down like 50 bucks. We're looking at like 100. So like, your favorite graphics cards will be going down a lot. Which would be good, because if you're wondering, the RAM inside of the graphics cards has been going up slowly. Now, of course, there's been competition for the GPUs and such, but for the most part, and for the most part, I say this here, that it is majority because of the DRAM. Now, obviously, I'd say probably more like half and half, but still, we have a look at that today. We'll explain a little bit more about it, go into it. And then next up, we've got a look at AMD and Intel working together to make a computer chip for laptops. And these are really, really, really thin laptops that are hopefully going to be able to game. So we'll see about that. But stay tuned. we got lots up for today. And uh, stick around. So a while back, when graphics cards really started to get going crazy with the urethane mining and all the different cryptocurrencies, we got some stuff that happened. And prices for Samsung kind of stopped producing um, DRAM. And slowly kind of st the amount of it kind of dwindled and prices shot up because of that. And that also happened to be at the time of cryptocurrency mining, which also ended up a lot of people blaming just cryptocurrency mining and not the fact that Samsung kind of reduced their stocks to that. But you're wondering, well, Samsung in 2018 has kind of decided that they're going to produce or uh, increase the amount of DRAM supplies they have by 20% of their output, which means prices could go down up to 20%. That's not likely, though. What, in reality, you're going to be expecting probably see about 10% decrease in prices just because of DRAM. Now, this is not going to change a whole lot of stuff, but it will hopefully decrease the amount of price and hopefully put a couple more graphics cards out there and make them a little bit easier to make. And then, of course, make... Um, a little bit more supply, so prices might go down as well. So what you're expecting to see is a really substantial drop. It's not like we're looking at something like, hey, the 1070 Ti came out, you might see a $50 drop in prices, which on top of that, the 1070 Ti did just come out, which means that we're going to be looking at something like um, that on top of this will hopefully decrease prices insane, um, insanely and will hopefully get a lot cheaper prices. Now, you're also wondering, well, what could this mean for other parts of the computer? Well, RAM prices, if you haven't noticed, the RAM I had back in this computer back here, my main rig, I got for something like 116 bucks. And this, before you ask, the RAM I have in there is a T-Force um, dark LED 3,000 megahertz, 16 gigabytes. So it's not like we're talking about something where I got some okay around this is pretty much standard quality and the price of this stuff now is like 200 bucks so you see what i mean like prices has just been going up and that's a good example of dram it's just simply because you know of course it's in the graphics cards for video memory and it's also in your, your regular ram different types and i understand that but still it's the same general idea that they're making it and that stuff back here has been slowly increasing in value. And so finally, we're going to be getting a look at some of the fact that this will hopefully be going down. Next up, you're probably wondering about these computer chips that AMD and Intel have decided to both work on to beat out Nvidia. They've literally gone together. Like, so you think, you've always, you know, I don't know if you've all heard the phrase that, you know, when, you know, the friend of your friend is an enemy, or your friend, the, what is it? The enemy of or the enemy of your enemy is your friend or whatever. That's how it goes. Well, I guess Intel and um, AMD have kind of figured that out because they're teaming up on Nvidia to beat them out of the water with a custom chip. So you know how AMD has its Vega department, the graphics card department. They've teamed up with Intel to put the Intel chip and a Vega processing unit with its customized video RAM all on one chip, which surprisingly... They've got it so it actually works pretty well. I'm really interested to see actually how well it performs because, you know, this is, you know, first of all, we got AMD's entire APUs, which are more like of a professional desktop kind of line. And then they're also working with Intel to produce a really high speed gaming line, which will be interesting to see how they both perform. But AMD is also making one of these, which was really surprising because I wouldn't expect them to go along and partner with Intel while they're designing their own. And then keep in mind, Intel does really good with pro the core speeds, not necessarily core count, which is AMD is including in their APUs, which is all processing unit 
or I, I don't know the, uh, um, the actual name for it, but that's how I remember it. It's all processing unit. Basically, it's graphics cards and um, graphics and um, processing. And this is not AMD's. Um, Intel usually has integrated graphics, which is not really too custom designed in the chip. Um, but this is, we're talking about having a specially designed portion of the chip to be producing the graphics. So that was really the surprise for me is I just didn't expect AMD to turn around and work with Intel because apparently they're just getting upset at NVIDIA and they just decided because, you know, NVIDIA is making um, computer chips now, AI chips, uh, which Intel's in and AMD is producing the Vega chip or Vega graphics processing unit. I think they both kind of realized that there was a little bit of danger, so they decided to team up, which I mean... For the first time in a long time, we've actually got them teaming up, working together, which I and I don't think I can say for Xbox, um, ew, uh, PlayStation, ew, um, a lot of things that I, people would not team up with. And please keep in mind, I am a PC gamer. I, um, I've had some really bad experiences with Xbox. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Hope to see you guys right back here tomorrow for some more tech news. And, uh... If you guys like the kind of stuff we have on this channel, make sure you guys subscribe. We do a lot of cool stuff, and uh, hope to see you guys around here a lot. So, thank y'all. See you guys next time.